What's going on guys, Eddie here Fliptronics. I'm gonna be talking about how you can buy the new iPhone SE in 2020. Okay, so the announcement was made that this phone is gonna be a lot similar looking to the iPhone 8. So Apple has decided to discontinue making the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus. I know that's very sad news. But you know, I think this might actually be a good buying opportunity if you wanted to pick up the 8 or the 8 Plus because the price is gonna drop on it significantly. And you know, I'm gonna go over basically the design of the SE, what you can expect. But it's gonna be selling for about 400 bucks. Currently the phone's gonna be on pre-order with Apple. But obviously I'd wait a little bit, maybe pick it up on Amazon because that's really where I get all my iPhones. So you know, let's talk about the design. So literally this phone is gonna have a 4.7 inch, um, you know, retina display on it. The thing is, it's also gonna have the home button. So what's cool about this phone is that they're gonna bring back the home button, but that also kind of like gives me, uh, brings me back to the point of, you know, why not just pick up the iPhone 8? So, you know, the only difference here, the design is gonna be a little bit different. I think they're going with like an aluminum um, and glass design as opposed to the all glass design that the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus have. Now, um, you can see right here, the 4.7 inch Retina HD display it will have, and it's gonna be coming in three different colors. So you have, um, black, red, and white. So you have those color options. And then of course, one of the biggest selling points they're trying to make is it's got the A13 Bionic chip in it, which is the fastest chip in a smartphone. To be honest with you guys though, after using the eight, you know, for however long I've had it, you know, this phone runs, you know, high graphic games fine. It's a very fast phone. And I'm gonna show you that in just a second. So, you know, to me, it's like, okay, cool. Like they wanna bring like a cheaper iPhone back into the market. Um, but, you know, is it really necessary when there's really nothing wrong with the iPhone eight? So, you know, you could pick up that new iPhone SE for like uh, whatever it is, 400 bucks, or you could pay half the price for the iPhone eight and it's basically going to be very similar to the new iPhone SE in design and everything, but it's that processor, a slightly better camera, obviously, too. But, you know, you think about all that, honestly, I think that, you know, whatever it is, what it is. So I'm going to play a high graphic game here, F1 Mobile. Um, also, if you guys want to check out uh, the latest prices for... Um, you know, the iPhone 8 on Amazon as well. I'll throw a link down there. If you guys could smash a like button on this video too, I'd definitely appreciate it. Uh, feel free to post your thoughts about this new iPhone SE coming out because I'm curious. Uh, you know, I think it kind of came out of nowhere. Um, I think it's cool though that they are gonna bring the home button back because like on the newer iPhones, obviously the home button is something that, you know, I, I went through home, home button withdrawal for a while uh, back when I had the iPhone 10 for the first time. So going from having a home button to no home button was definitely weird. And you know what? I've always liked the home button, um, you know, on iPhone. So anyways, this game right here, F1 Mobile, it's very high graphic. Now I'm gonna get the volume turned up all the way here too. So you can hear this phone on full blast. Um, it's a very loud phone, uh, but you know, you can see that this phone still plays these high graphic games just fine. There's like no lag or anything. F1 Mobile is a very high graphic game, so... Wow, that was a pretty bad crash right there. Let's see if I can get back in this. up the pace here. Yeah, we are cruising. Right, that's how you do it, man. We're gonna get that first place finish here. Oh man, that's how you do it. It feels good to get a little win in right there. Okay, anyways, F1 Mobile. Um, obviously, I love that game. Definitely like a top three racing game for me. Now, anyways, back to you know, uh, you know, should you get the iPhone SE um, or should you try to get the iPhone 8? I'll tell you what. I would just get the iPhone 8. It's half the freaking price, um, you know, and uh, I mean, they're basically copying the design on it. The new iPhone SE will have that upgraded chip, better camera. They're gonna go with aluminum, but 
I mean, who cares? This phone you could pick up probably for like 200 bucks right now on Amazon. Um, that's where I've been buying all my iPhones. So I'll have uh, some links down there whether you wanna you know, pick up the new iPhone SE on Apple right now. It is available for pre-order. Um, I'll have a link for the iPhone A2 if you wanna check this phone out. It's still really awesome. More importantly, if you guys could smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, thanks for watching it, and we'll see you in the next one.